Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kofar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As I am discussing the thanatology, and these are few last few lectures in which I am discussing the time chain step. And today I will be discussing the late changes. As we are discussing the rate method, and in rate method today I will discuss the late changes. So the learning objective of this lecture it will be that I will be discussing the late changes which appear after death and we observe and in which state these changes are and from that we can estimate the time since death. And these late changes are either the putrefaction or the change in putrefaction that is arrest of putrefaction and they change into other two processes that is the mummification or the adipocere formation. So starting with the late changes, these are putrefaction, mummification, and adipocere formation. So starting with the knowledge of putrefaction that we know that the first sign of putrefaction is the greenish color dis disintegration or the greenish discoloration which appears on the flanks that the area of the cecum, right, uh, iliac fossa, and it appears approximately 12 to 24 hours after death. And it then spreads to the whole abdomen and the rest of the body in next 24 hours. Then the marbling, which, which is also seen and it is after 24 hours. Marbling is basically the prominence of the superficial blood vessels in, in an arborescent fat pattern that is uh, the due to change in the color of the blood, which uh, which becomes greenish or bluish, and this uh, put effective color change in the color is because of the disintegration of the hemoglobin conversion into bilirubin and biliverdin and hematidin and hemocytin. So this color is greenish. This coloration is because of uh, hematidin, and this arborization pattern is known as marbling, which appears 24 hours after death. And in, inside, the simultaneously the processes are going inside the body, there is accumulation of gases in 12 to 18 hours. And these gases first collect in the intestines and distends the abdomen. And in next 36 to 48 hours after death, the gas formation is abundant and it not only collects in the hollow viscera, but also in the other tissues of the body. And this causes the false rigidity and the pressure effect. And because of pressure effect, there is expulsion of the contents which are uh, emitted out of the mouth and the nostril and the uh, feces through the rectum. And if the uterus is gravid and containing fetus, that can be expelled out. So the female genitalia, they become pendulous and in 48 to 72 hours after death, the rectum and uterus, they protrude because of the pressure effects. Another decomposition changes like in three to seven days, the teeth and the suture of the skull in the children and young adults become loose. And in five to 12 days, the soft tissues, they liquefy. And only the resistance viscera which putify into two three weeks are distinguishable like prostate and non-gravid uterus. And in one to three months, the body is skeletonized. Now the modification of this put effective processes that is either the body change into a deposite formation or mummification depending upon the environment in which it is present. The time required for a deposite formation is five to 12 days. In the shortest, it has been recorded as three days. And for complete mummification, the period ranges from three to 12 months or longer. The mummification is basically the uh, desiccation and drying. In dry, hot conditions, there is modification of the putrefactive process and which is become arrested and body undergoes mummification state and mummification is characterized by dehydration or desiccation of the tissues and the viscera after death. Then the deposit formation is 
basically the uh, modification of putrefaction process and which may become arrested and the fatty tissue of the body, they get converted into fatty acids. And it has the properties of fat and wax. So the name is adipocere, soft fat and wax, adipocera. As we know that the fresh fat contains 0.5% of the free fatty acid, but within four weeks after death, it rises to 20%. And after 12 weeks, it becomes 70%. And this is the time when the adipocere is becoming obvious to the naked eye. So adipocere material has a sweet rancid smell. It is lighter than water. So when it is developed in the river or canals, the body, the body then becomes lighter and it floats. So summary of this lecture is that we have uh, learned the late changes, how they help in determining time since death. And we study in which state the change is. And then we give an approximate bracket of time since death. And the late change is the putrefaction and the other changes, the mummification and adipocere formation are the late changes and they help in determination of time since death. So thank you very much. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar. Thank you very much.